Scientology could be called God. You could call it a religion of religions. But isn't didn't Hubbard openly say he 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 supported the idea of having a one world government? Right? Didn't he openly say in his political beliefs he thinks that we should have a one world government and it will be better for the world? Isn't that like in freaking documents you can find like in a church? Yes, and it's also in his lecture, International City, uh, on yes, that St. Hill special. Exactly, yeah. Course. And now, but, but also, that doesn't necessarily mean Hubbard was for the New World Order. You see what I mean? Like no, a, not, a big Because the New World that, Order, yeah. the, when people talk about people who are attacking the New World Order, and I attack it, and the One World Government, people are attacking it because that's a big brother, communist, socialist, one world government where there's, compute, um, where there's TV screens everywhere tra- tracking us and recording us. That's that setting up like that's like an evil version of a one world government. But it seems like Hubbard was for the cooperative good version of the one world government. Yeah. So in this lifetime, he was fighting the Cecil Rhodes model. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, he, well, yeah. Well, I don't know about the Cecil Rhodes one, but he was fighting the New World Order, which was starting to get into swing in the 50s and 60s and stuff. He wasn't for it. it without a doubt, he was threatening it because uh, he, he didn't want to have it a big brother. No, he didn't at all. And, and he wrote uh, history of man warning people about the, uh, coming thing that was going to make, uh, I don't remember the quote, but you know, it's like the future of this planet is going to make the past look like a Sunday school picnic. You know, it's like, mm. it's, it's pretty brutal what he had envisioned because he, he got this stuff from data that people were getting in sessions in Dianetics around Wichita in 1951. Um, he didn't just get it from L. Ron Hubbard Jr. and Mary Sue. He got it from them too, but he had also got it from sessions from his research auditors in Wichita. And basically, they were remembering societies that were completely controlled by electronics. We're looking at 5G rolling out on mm. this planet. Mm. And it's a control grid, Mm. and it's what Hubbard described and was coming up in sessions in 1951, because people have lived this before. Um, Totally. I can totally see it, because it's like if you put out energy out of certain towers, it gets people into a certain mode. It's kind of like if you play a sad song on the radio, suddenly everyone it keys in when they feel sad, like moments that they've had loss or whatever, and then it changes the way they act. But what's, I, we'll quickly just go into this, but what do you think these ha- these towers do and how they work and, and 5G and stuff? What do you think the deal is with that? It comes from crowd control military technology, and they're called millimeter waves, and they have the capability of frying a person, uh, creating heart attacks, They already have that capability with 4G, but they have to really amp up the power and and use special machines. But 5G will be where they can really control your um, emotional states by electromagnetic influence. And they can um, cause deaths, cause cancers, cause a lot of things because of the electromagnetic energy is so strong. Now, I want to point out a, a datum for Scientologists. Guys who are really grounded in the TRs and have done the Purif and or some kind of detox um, and are aware beings are far less effective. These now they can still they can still do, uh, influence you and and cause a lot of discomfort physically. I think I've been targeted myself at times, but um, your body has a lot more power than you grant it and. You also, as a being, have a lot more power than you grant yourself, and they can't do as much to a aware and awake being as they can to the, the person who's eating GMO foods and has already has an end-mested body where this end-mest wave can really create a lot of havoc and um, will control people's, people's moods and, and all kinds of things. Yeah, I, yeah. When you got people who have cases or big cases, um, that if you just put them into that fear frame of mind, like maybe let's say you're living with them and you drop a spider on them and you get them into that fear state of mind, they're much easier to control. So you keep them in that 
you keep them in that that condition you keep them low toned and stuff so maybe this is just technology to keep people in a, a in a condition where they can be restimulated um you mentioned exactly. you, men you mentioned in our previous um and and also the people who we have controlling this place it's it, they they're the sort of people that would use any technology to try and control people so of course they're going to be like oh this sounds fantastic yeah let's put in these towers that keep people acting like this and let's put this substance in the water that keeps people um keyed in and stuff um anyway so in the previous interviews we did you mentioned that you did when you released the um the osa documents that you seem to have gotten some sort of emp attack is that correct I was uh, getting what I felt. I, I got a lot of things, uh, a lot of things, strange things happened. But I, I think in, I, I got the night after I released that, I woke up with uh, extreme migraine headaches and the feeling that um, my body temperature was raising, which is like a microwave radiation type of thing. I felt like I was targeted and like punished for releasing those things. Okay, did you have 5G internet at your house? No, and, and 5G is not uh, online and operational yet. And I want to point out something. They're doing it, they're playing a trick on people. If your internet router says 5G, it does not mean the 5G that's rolling out on the streets in the cities. That's just a 5 gigahertz wavelength. And what they're doing is they're trying to normalize 5G with people by putting that on your new routers. If your router says 5G, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about these stations of antennas that are going to be right out on your street. And they, because of the wavelength, they have to do these every 100 yards. So they're going to be all over your city. And they're already putting them in, in certain cities to install these. And it's a very different thing from the 5G that says on your router. Okay, so, no, so, yeah, this was not 5G. It was just regular microwave that they can generate from the current infrastructure from cell phone towers. They can, they can direct microwave energy at people. And there's a whole body of people who are called targeted individuals who suffer from these kind of attacks. Yeah. Some of them are crazy and mental and, 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 you know, but there are whistleblowers who have gotten, who get instruments, people bringing in instruments in their house and they have incredible amounts of microwave radiation there in their house. So this is being done. Yeah, it's not a, it's yeah. not a farce. It's not a paranoia. Yeah. There's an episode of Jesse, Cons um, Jesse Ventura's conspiracy theory where they talk about this 5G thing and how there's towers that put out this energy and it, and that they seem to be targeting people who are um, just not acting like slaves, which obviously you fit into. Um, on my internet and, and other people's internet in Australia, it seems like the Wi-Fi's are putting out two things, the normal Wi-Fi, whatever that is, 4G, and then there's a the 5G option. I always go with the other one because I heard 5G is evil. But what are, you, what are you saying? Are you saying that this router, even though it has the option, this modem, it has the option of 5G, I'm looking at it now on my computer, it's not actually putting out 5G yet. They, they'll only start working when they build the towers nearby. Is that what you're saying? It's a critical difference, and they're hoping to give you a misunderstood by collapsing 5G, two different 5Gs. 5 gigahertz is on your modem router. It's, no, it's not a lot different from 4G. It's not. It's still microwave radiation, but it's not necessarily stronger than the 4G. Sometimes it's faster for people, and they want you to feel good about 5G because what they're putting on 5G is really five generation, fifth generation cell phone towers. These are these are what are going to generate the energy, the quantity of energy that they need to completely start controlling the grid. It's a control grid. Okay, but they're, they're not built yet. Is that what you're saying? They're not built yet. Only in major cities are they installing these, and they're running into resistance because people are waking up, and that's a good thing. So there's hope, and uh, I encourage people to get involved and figure out if your city is rolling out 5G and go say something about it uh, because okay. that's the only way mankind is going to stop this. Okay, so do you predict that – in 10 years' time, the modems won't have this option that doesn't have the 5G, and they'll all just say 
I Primus, 5G or whatever? Well, well, uh, just to back up a little bit, just make sure there's no, uh, no misunderstood. Your modem cannot generate the 5G energy that they will put on your streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but what you're saying yeah. is that at the moment they – okay, at the moment they, they're offering – the modem is offering two options. Neither of them are actually yeah. really 5G unless you're next to yeah. one of these new towers that they've built. And I'm at the moment in a country town. It, I, it's 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 probably not got operational five G. But in the future, they'll get operational five G. And then in five years' time, they'll stop running the old version of the internet and will only have five G internet. Is that what you're saying? I think so. I really don't know a whole lot about those details. Yeah. Okay. And when what I know is that five G, fifth generation, that they're trying to install on the streets of the big cities is a military technology. It's a crowd control technology. It's extremely scary. It's not needed. It's not needed for a faster internet. It's not needed for infrastructure. Sadly, Trump is backing it up because it's good for the economy to put a new technology out there, but he's, he's glossed over the uh, health problems because it's going to generate severe health issues and the control factor that the military is using. I don't think people realize how much the military and military intelligence is actually in control of the government mm. and not the government. It's not the government telling the military what to do. It's the other way around. Yeah. Um, so apparently they used it during the Gulf War or something and they used it during the Wall Street riots or something where the police put out some energy and it actually changes the way the rioters behave and it changed the way the soldiers behave in the Gulf War. Um, yes. Is this what you're talking about? Yes, that same kind of technology that they want to install on the streets of America has been used in warfare to uh, radically alter people's emotional states, to create pain, uh, sensations of pain, sensations of burning, to disperse crowds, to get uh, enemy soldiers to surrender. Yes, it's, it's a scary okay. technology. And, and you've, you reckon you've experienced this? No. I, I've experienced just high, high, um, um, high concentrations of directed microwave radiation, which any other whistleblower has as well. Oh, but isn't that the same Not, thing? Isn't that the well, same thing? Any, any other. Isn't that the same thing? You're saying you release the OSA documents and you, you. It's 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 similar. It's similar, but you got to understand that what we're using now for internet is basically microwave type radiation. 5G is a, a different kind of wave. The fifth generation is a millimeter wave, and it, it, it behaves differently, and it does far more powerful things against bodies and against, um, okay, so, but they've been able to do similar things with the existing infrastructure. That's all I'm saying. It's just harder for them to do. They can't control everybody. They can only directly target certain individuals that they want to suffer a little or or be confused because they're in such a dirty energy of microwave, you know, that kind of thing. And I want to tell you, Andy, I don't know what happened or whether I have an angel on my shoulder, but in the last several weeks, I've not experienced any, uh, several weeks, I've not experienced any of this kind of reaction, bodily reaction that I was having, getting migraines and things like that over what I thought was could have been microwave radiation because my body would heat up either in my chest area or my head area. It was never the same. It was one or the other. It sounds so and, much... Sorry, keep on going. Well, I, for some reason, I experienced this when I was living down in Argentina, uh, December, January, and February, especially in January. I was... I was sick every other day from this stuff. It sounds and like you're a targeted body... individual. Sorry, it, it, it just sounds so much like you. Yeah, you're a targeted individual. Have you seen the Jesse Ventura episode? Yeah, I, I, I feel that that's a strong possibility, you know, and, and I have handled it in my own way. I've actually uh, done solo sessions on this and other type of energy work where I have overcome it and let, that's what i'm saying for the last several weeks my body has been somewhat immune to this or 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 the plans changed and i'm no longer 
targeted in that way. I'm targeted in other ways. I can tell you some other stories, but I, I really don't want to because it's kind of personal. But all I'm saying is I'm still going and I'm not going to stop and I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. But I have, um, I have gone through some suffering and I've gone through a lot of, um, it's been very hard to, to get to the point where I am, where I'm apparently not effective this as I was before. And a lot of that had to do with some auditing that I did. So, so you are, the auditing has helped you with being a targeting, targeted individual. Yeah, and I tell for the Scientologists out there and the auditors, I'll, I'll summarize it. When you get the date and well, date locate technology, it's really not date because you know it's happening right now. But when you can locate where it's coming from, the being keys out and really rises above it and, and locates the attack and where it's coming from and what type of attack. All you have to do is make a list for yourself, uh, assess it on the meter, get your item. And this is what I did. And it's basically standard tech, listing and nulling. What's going on? Where is it coming from? And when you date and locate that kind of thing, you can key it out and you and you as a being are no longer effective at the PTSSP tech in that sense. You know, the uh, S&D search and discovery is extremely powerful and very helpful. So I've applied it to myself solo and it's been a great help. That's great. And so I've got a question about this. So we're talking about this sort of electronic 5G waves, energy technology, um, EMP, um, e EMF. We're talking about this way to target individuals. Do you know if they use entities to target individuals as well? Well, I have to point out that uh, Jeffrey Augustine was interviewing uh, John Atak, the author of A Piece of Blue Sky. They went into the fact that it's known as a technology in Freemasonry that you wrap a spell in an entity and you send it to the, to the person. And yes, they were talking about that as if it was almost normal. Jeffrey was specifically. I think this is a little over John Atak's head because although he's done knots and he could relate to it, they were talking about how black knots was real. It wasn't a, <laughs> it wasn't a made up thing. And these are, these are attackers. These are people who are denigrating the tech. So, um, you know, uh, just listen to them. And, and I, I'm, I'm not, I haven't done the upper levels and I don't, but I can tell you, Andy, that when I do an assessment on myself, I check for that thing and I know enough about it that I can handle it on my own, on myself. So I've done that and it's been very helpful. And, and I didn't want to say it, but since you pointed it out, that came up as what was, they were first trying. And once I isolated where it was coming from, sometimes in some cases who it was com coming from, oops, I'm not going to name names, but they know who they are. That kind of thing. It's, this is an old technology, Andy, uh, the technology of black magic and defending against black magic. When you can identify who is doing it and who is sending it, it recoils on the person and they don't attack you again because it hits them instead of you. Uh, how would I know if I'm getting some of these attacks, whether it's the BT one or it's the, um, the 5G um, targeted individual electronic attack? That's a very tough question to answer, Andy, because I would I would get you into learning solo auditing. At the same time, you would be fighting with the temptation to try this out on yourself because you're you know you're wanting to know. It's a it's normal to want to know what's going on and to try to use the e meter to try to sort it out. So, if you were very disciplined though and said no, I'm going to get through my solo courses and maybe do some of the upper levels or something as a as a training, um, or at least do some do some uh, solo work on yourself and other areas that's really light and hold that off for a while and become an accomplished solo auditor because I I've had some years of experience doing this. 
then yes, you can begin to use the e-meter as a defensive tool in that way and sort out where things are coming from. And it's it's great, let me tell you, when you can get in that state where you can actually foil in a foil a spiritual attack by sorting it out. Others have different ways. Psychics use different perceptions and things like that. Um, some people use a pendulum. There, you know, but it's not easy. It's not easy, and it's very tempting to to um, uh, want to know more than you should. You know what I'm saying? So it really challenges the being to be extremely ethical with what you're doing because because you can't be using this to uh, get more information than what you need to uh, defend yourself. Uh, that's all I can say. Okay, well, well I don't that, know. That's been a principle of, of ethical magic for millennia, okay, that... Um, you harm nobody and that you only access the, um, what do you call it, the collective unconscious maybe or the collective, what we would call the seventh dynamic, the spiritual universe. You only access it as much as you really need unless you're really uh, up there in ethical and spiritual ability so that you can handle these things without falling into these traps. Because there are traps and temptations to use this in ways that are not ethical. That's all I can say. Okay. I, I, I really am not an expert on this. I have read a lot of books and learned from a lot of people. But I am an accomplished solo auditor. And I've been, to, been able to use the e-meter where other people may use a pendulum or certain other instruments or just their intuition to do the same kind of thing. Where are you on the bridge? And, um, I'm a clear... And I've got that state acknowledged outside the church. I couldn't get it acknowledged inside the church because of the Miscavige new plan, you know, to invalidate the state of clear. But um, I, so I went back, I wanted to do my grades before I went further than clear on the upper levels. And so I did the grades very slowly and thoroughly nice. over a period of several years. Yeah, can I just and, say as a lot of people who are listening... I'm new so can I say I'm near the grade, grade three? That's where I am. Yeah, I, I I think that when you do, you know, when you do objectives properly and when you do the grades properly, I mean, you you get this product which is like a being that can see the truth, that can like look and calculate it and stuff. And this GAT two is just producing clicky grades, and other people just don't even do the grades and they get pronounced clear. I just disagree with that stuff, but I just think that you get you get you get some interesting beings and you get people who are really onto the truth who, who do these things properly. And there's no rush. There's no, like, there's no need to like, I, I think as a status symbol, people are like, they want to be OT3 or OT5 or something, but it's just like, no, no, what's more important is if you, whatever you've done, you've, you've done it properly and you've taken your time. Um, but anyway, with, with me case wise though, I don't notice electronic attacks and stuff um but i do i have noticed moments where like i get addicted to ice cream and i have like moments where i'm obviously keyed in but i'm not like super keyed in but like i'm just not operating to my full abilities like i'll just like have to go to and rush to mcdonald's or something like that and so i don't know what that is but i might i might find out that i'm i could be going through periods where you know i'm getting some sort of attack and and, and it just leads me to just eat too much food for dinner. Yeah. Yeah, it's what it is. It's a dirty energy in your space. It's N theta, and it doesn't feel comfortable, and it can affect the body in various ways. So, yeah, I I feel for you because I know I know how that feels too. So it's like it's, it's, it's not cool, the people that are doing this uh, at all, at all. It's, it's, it's really – Bottom line, it's black magic, black knots, however you want to put it. It's not good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, and also, I think I noticed as well that I, I have to do my spiritual stuff. Like, you know, like I, I practice like a bit of TR0 and stuff, but like I have, I have to do these things. Otherwise, I can just see myself getting keyed in. See, and I, what I could be doing, because I wear crystals as well, like this stuff here, that affects... Um, um, electromagnetic stuff and radiation and shit. So I do these things and I'm probably 
keeping my head above the water and actually stopping myself from being affected by all those things. But I do notice that when I drop these things off, that I do start being keyed in and I do start noticing like I can't operate as well. Yeah. 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 And, and I would agree TR zero is probably the most recommended thing here because when you got your TR zero in, they cannot get you. Yeah. 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 Um, and even Ca captain Bill pointed that out, even psychotronics that they've done from satellites and things like that. He said, if your TR zero is in, it, it just rebounds on the sender. Just like I was pointing out, you don't really have to do a, a metered handling, which is better when you do that. It's kind of fun. Is in it and it's really a bigger key out, but just on on a lower level or on a level before you can do solo auditing, to have your TR zero really in is probably the best advice I could give anybody. Yeah, and the and these things you should do regardless of whether if as it, uh, regardless if you're um, getting targeted or not. It's just like these are just because everyone to a certain degree is getting targeted. You know, everyone is 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 the environment in the modern Western society is designed to key them in and stop them from operating as well. 